Hello viewers, welcome to another 3D modeling video using FreeCAD Dave in which we will learn how to use some commands from the part-time paint to draw the simple 3D model. Okay, first of all, let's start by creating a document. We have two options to create a document. We have the first option, parametric body. If we click in this option, a document will be created with a part sign body object inside. If we click in the second option, empty file, a blank document will be created. The goal of this video is to show you how to design the model using the part sign workbench. So the best choice for creating the document is the parametric body option. Click in the first option and the document will be created with a part sign body object inside. This is the 3D model and it's very very easy to design this model using the part sign workbench. We can start by creating this shape here and then create this shape here. To create these two shapes here there are two ways. The first way is by extruding a sketch and the second way is by using a additive primitive tool to create a shape. Okay, let's start by creating this shape here using a sketch. Go to the document and click in create sketch icon and select XY plane for the sketch. In the sketch workbench, select the cycle tool in the sketch geometries, this tool here. Click in the origin axis and set 108 millimeters for the diameter of this cycle. Zoom so out here, skip this tool. As you see, the sketch is full constrained. Close it. And now, on the part time workbench to extrude the sketch, click on the pad tool icon. Change the length to 27 millimeters and then press OK. And we have the first shape in the document. The next thing to do is to create this shape here. And to do that, let's use the second way. Let's use the additive primitive tool. To do that, we have to go to the additive tools of part time workbench, these tools here, and expand the primitive tools. As you see, we have this list of primitive tools here. We have to select the active cylinder tool because this shape here, we can create it using a cylinder tool. The first thing that we need to do is to attach the new cylinder in the space here or in the XY plane. To attach the cylinder in the XY plane, what we need to do is to go to the model tab and make the region objects visible. As you can see, the origin object is visible in the 3D view, so we can attach the cylinder just by selecting the correct plane, which is XY plane here. Let's go back to tasks and click on XY plane. If we click here, like this, as you see here in the space here, we have the region XY plane as the attachment plane of this cylinder. Or we can attach the cylinder on this face here. To do that, we need to go to this button here. Click on it until appears this text here and then select this face here. Now, as you can see, we have the cylinder here on this face. Next, go to the primitive parameters and change its radius to, let's say, 38 millimeters and the height to 32 millimeters and then press OK to finish this. If I select the cylinder in the tree view, as you can see in the property cylinder, I have radius 28 millimeters, angle 306 degrees, and the height 32 millimeters. Okay, the next thing to do here is to create these revolutions here. The way to do that is by using a sketch for this. So I will go to the document and click in create sketch icon. Now this time I will select the Y plane or the X plane, but not the X Y plane. So I will click in Y plane. I will switch to the session view by pressing this icon. Okay, and next I will zoom in here. In this document, I will change the view to right and zoom in here. As you can see, we can use the cycle tool to create this geometry. Okay, so first here, I will select the cycle tool on the sketch drums of sketch workbench and create this cylinder. I will consider the diameter of this cycle to four millimeters. Okay, but here in this sketch, we need three cycle geometries. The way to do that is to skip this tool. Select this cylinder, for example, and Ctrl C and now Ctrl V two times. 
As you see, now here we have three cycle geometries. I will drag this point to here and next this point to here. As you see, three cylinders on the sketch. Okay, next to align these three cylinders, I will use a line geometry. First, I will change the geometry to construction geometry by pressing this icon and next select the line tool. I will create a vertical line. This line here, I will constrain to 22 millimeters. I will select the dimension tool, click on this line and create a vertical distance of 22 millimeters. Now I will skip this tool. I will use the constraints metric tool to constrain this cycle in the middle of this line here. Okay, to do that, first I need to select these two endpoints of this construction line and then click on the center point of this cycle. As you see, I have this. Next, I want to construct this cycle between this point and this point. To do that, I will select this point first and this point here. And finally, I will click on the center point. As you see, I have this. Next, I want to construct the center point in the middle of this point and this point here. I will select these two points and next this point here. And I have this. Two degrees of freedom, as you can see here. What I will do next is to extract some edges of this 3D model. Okay, to do that, I will use construction geometries. I will click on the grid external projection geometry and select, for example, and click on this edge and now in this edge here. Okay, now I will use the constraint constant to constrain this endpoint on this extracted edge. And I have this. I will skip this tool and drag this geometries to here and next I will select the dimension tool. I will click on this line here and now on this endpoint and I will create the horizontal distance of 0.75 millimeters and enter. This sketch is full constrained as you can see. I will close it and next I will use the revolution tool to create a shape. Okay. I will click on revolution icon and as you can see I have this. Next, I will press OK to finish this feature. Let's see how to create these fillets here. Let's select this edge here and then click on the fillet icon and change its radius to 6 and press OK. Here we have this. Next, select this edge here and click on the fillet tool. Change the radius to 10 millimeters and press OK. Okay, as you can see, there are small differences here between the size of this cylinder and this cylinder here. So let's go to the tree view and select this feature here, this cylinder, and go to the radius. And the radius here must be 38 millimeters. Okay. And we have this, as you can see. Okay, the next step now is to add fitness to this 3D model. As we can see in this document. Okay, and the way to do that in this document is by selecting this bottom face here and then click on the thickness icon and change the thickness value to 1.1.75 millimeters. And we have this without problems. Just press OK to finish the operation, and the next steps here is to create these pockets and these all occurrences. Okay, let's start by creating a small hole on this face here. Just select this face here and click on the hole tool icon and go to the diameter and change to 22.5 millimeters and then press enter. It's similar to press OK on the task panel. Okay, next let's create a sketch attached to this face here. In that sketch, we'll create a geometry, a simple geometry, this geometry. And then we'll create a pocket and then create the polar array of the pocket. Let's select this face, click in the create sketch icon, and here we have the sketch. Zoom in here, and the first thing to do is to select the polar tool in the construction geometry mode. Okay, zoom in here and create this line, click in the region axis, and next. And next, create this line here, escape this tool. And now what you do, just change to normal geometries and select the line tool. And now let's create, let's create 
this line here and this line here. So in here, created this line and next created this line here and now let's use the uh, act tool to create this geometry and this geometry. Click in the region axis and join these two points here. Click again in the origin axis and now join these two end points. Skip the tool and you'll see that we have six degrees of freedom and we need to full constrain this sketch. So the first thing that we can do is to make this is to make these lines parallel. To do that, click on the parallel icon and make this line and this line parallel and these two lines here parallel and we have four degrees of freedom. Next here, let's use the dimension tool to constrain the radius of this arc here to 17 millimeters. Now this arc here, click off and set 30 millimeters. And we have two degrees of freedom, as you can see. What is missing now is to set the angle between these two lines here. So just click on this construction line and now on this line here, click off and say, uh, let's say nine degrees. Okay, and now zoom in here, click on the vertical axis and now on this line here and let's say nine degrees divided by two and we'll get 4.5 degrees and we have the sketch for constrained. Close the sketch and now let's use the pocket tool to create a pocket on the 3D model and we have this, just press OK and accelerate the pocket and let's use the polar pattern tool to create a chorus of this operation. Let's change to the top view, go to the test panel and change the axis to Z axis and let's change the number of occurrence to 12 and click off and we have this as you can see. So back to the document, press OK. Uh, next let's select this face here and create a sketch on it. Let's switch to the session view, press this icon, zoom in here and now let's use a special tool to create this geometry here. Go to the sketcher geometries, expand these tools here and select grid arc slot. Click in here, click in the origin nexus and now create this geometry on these points. Next here, let's change the geometry construction geometries and use the line tool to create this line here and this line. Select the dimension tool. Click on this line here and set 2 millimeters for the radius of this slot here. Now click on this construction geometry, click off and let's say 43 millimeters. Okay, now select this line and this line here. Click off and let's say 30 degrees. And now this line here and this line, let's say 15 degrees. And now let's close the sketch and click on the pocket tool if we change to top view as you can see we have the pocket here just press ok and next select the pocket and now click on the polar pattern tool of part time or bench change the uh, let's change the axis to z axis to z axis and the number of occurrence to nine and click off and we have this press ok and this is the final model Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the channel content, you can do that. Just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to the channel's Ko-Fi page. Or you can support the channel buying the ebook that's appearing on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.